All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where we have basically a glitch. Uh, so all three of those tasks that I was missing, they all come from this area. And there's one of the tasks shows up here. One of the other ones shows up here. And then the other one is supposed to be here. This is the one where I'm supposed to take the trailer, this trailer to the South Tower, which I believe is this one. Uh, it's one of these towers, but none of them are showing up. I don't know why. I don't know if I've done them, uh, but one of the tasks, the one that's actually here, has to do with this stand, uh, which is conveniently right here. So I don't think I'll ever be able to use this vehicle in this iteration of my game because it's locked. I can't even go buy it because it's locked because I haven't found it in the real world. Uh, from what I can tell, it looks like it just needs fuel. So possibly, I mean, I'm going to feel pretty dumb, but possibly if that's all I need to do is fill it up with fuel and then it's mine, I won't be so angry. Uh, but right now I'm kind of annoyed. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to jump into the uh, as off. We're going to drive over there and we're going to throw some fuel in it. And yeah, we're going to see, we're going to see what happens. There's also a, a scout trailer there. Now these missions might for some reason start working once I get through the actual missions. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of annoyed right now because I don't, I don't get why I'm having these issues. So I do, I might even go back and look just to see if I've, for some reason, completed these missions. I know the truck one I didn't, uh, but I don't know if I completed the other two missions and it just didn't register because I think it's the settling in or into the woods. It's one of them. Uh, I, I read on Reddit that it's, it's glitched out and people have been complaining ever since the game came out and I think the report I read was in April of 2023, so not that long ago, and it's still uh, glitched out. So, yeah, needless to say, we're going to go throw some fuel in this truck and then see if if that's all it needs. I have a feeling it's still not going to work. Uh, but if that's the case, then we will go to Zimogorsk and we will we will take care of business there and we're not uh yeah we're pretty much not gonna worry about it unless anyone can tell me how <laughs> to uh to remedy this issue because i can't even go in and restart the mission because i've had that happen before where i think i sold the trailer that i was supposed to use and uh you can at least go in and restart the mission and it puts everything back but yeah this is the this is a uh this is kind of a big issue that they haven't really addressed and I'm I'm disappointed on a player's side just because this is this is a big issue <laughs> it may seem small like this branch that would easily just snap out of the way I still don't I still don't understand why these branches give you so much trouble all right you know what let's just go let's go through all the pine trees uh, the smaller pine trees that are younger but thicker trunks, we can just run right over. Alright, where is this truck? Hopefully it's... Okay, good. It's right there. So let's throw some fuel in it. I don't even know if I can just drag it back to where I'm supposed to and it will automatically work. I, I, I have no clue. Um... Yeah, I can't even refuel it. I attach to it. Oops. Wow, it's, it's not even letting me attach to it right now. I had the scout vehicle attached to it. Alright, something's going on because I can't even... There we go. 
Like, it's not letting me pick a point. Why does it say remove cargo, too? Alright, I'm not really sure what's going on, guys. Um, I can't attach the winch to anything. I'm going to head into... Uh, where is it? Oh, it's up there. Let's let's head into Zimogorsk and uh, see if things will kind of fix themselves. Like it lets me do a quick connect that way, but no other way. What if I go into the crane? Is it gonna let me? Oh, well, there's nothing here to pick up, so... Alright, well, you know what? Let's just... I don't know. We'll just go with it. I, I, I think I found a very, very big bug right now. <laughs> and I, I don't know what's going on. So I think, we'll, I think we will just have to move on. Uh, and if we... Figure it out, hopefully... It will fix itself. I highly doubt that's going to be the case. At least the Dan... I mean, I've, obviously I've never used the Dan. So... I don't really know how well it, of, a, of a truck it is, but it doesn't seem to be a popular one. So I think we're okay. I think I'm going the correct way. <laughs> I have no clue. Um, there we go. We're gonna head off to the left here. And I'm pretty sure I saw some uh, trailer uh, flatbeds and things like that, so I, I hopefully I'm not making a mistake by not bringing one with me. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to Zimogors and we're gonna just we're gonna do that map. This seems to be, this map seems to be horribly bugged. Although I don't think a lot of people have had my issues of three missions being completely bugged out. But yeah, let me know what you guys uh, think and what you guys know about these missions. All right. skip that scene I guess we're gonna go straight into truck repair or truck recovery sorry uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna take that one and hopefully <laughs> like I said hopefully we have some trailers here so that's a tight turn I thought I saw some when we uh, did the watchtower, but I could could be horribly, horribly wrong. All right, let's go ahead and accept this. Hey, we get uh, we actually get to keep this truck, the Step 310E. Which do we not already have that one? Could be wrong. All right, so there is no trailer. There's no trailers around here. Where did I think I saw a trailer? Uh, yeah, we totally screwed up. Well, you know what? There's nothing stopping us from dragging this truck back. Because we can definitely do that. There is, there is no stopping us from doing that. Can I actually go in now and attach my winch to something? Nope, it still will not let me do it. Hmm, maybe this is a sign that I need to restart my game. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and accept this one as well. 
but we'll go ahead and close it. Uh, you know what, guys? If that's the case, I'm going to shut down the game real quick and... Because I can't drag this step back if I can't attach a winch to it. So I'm going to uh, exit the game and, and come back in, so give me one second. Alright, well that ended up taking a little bit longer than I thought because I ended up having to... I ended up having to restart my computer because I couldn't even get the game to start back up again, so... But, everything should be fine now. Should be. Uh, I think we're gonna have to do a river crossing. Looks like all the bridges are out, so... And I spy something over there, I think? Uh, maybe not? Eh, it could be something. We'll see once we get down there a little closer. Alright, so we are going to need some type of recovery vehicle. Uh, because we need 540 parts. We need six tires and 59 liters of fuel, so... Uh, we definitely don't have that now. But we will when we drag this thing back, so... Ooh, nice and deep. Uh, yeah. Well, you know what? We gotta place some winch too, so we should be fine. <laughs> that might be one of the deepest river crossings we've done ever, if not in a very, very long time. So, nope, that doesn't help me at all, game. Can't, can't winch onto something that's behind me and expect me to go forward. Alright, so, oh, we are, I thought it was right there. <laughs> Nope, it's way up this hill, so... Let's get uh, a move on. And it, it was nice enough for somebody to put like six logs there. Even though we needed probably a hundred more. What is that in the distance? Looks like a bridge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well... I think this map is going to be... On the muddy side. <laughs> Everything so far has been pure mud. Let's get over. Let's crest this hill. Hey, hey something that isn't and it's back to mud. We almost made it. <laughs> we almost had a lucky break. <laughs> I throw it in high. Uh, might be moving a little bit faster. I think I found it. I think I found our tartan. Our tartan, tan, tan, however you say it. <laughs> our TUZ420. Uh, so that must be the free one. I don't know how you get up there though. I guess you just go ham up the hill. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted. You know what? Let's, let's, let's do it. You know what? Nothing, nothing really went right. Well, I, sh I shouldn't say nothing went right. The uh, the last episode pretty much fell apart in the last twenty minutes or so. So yeah, let's just let's just go for it. We need a we need a win, and getting a free vehicle is is definitely a win. So problem is I don't know. I'm assuming it's at the top of this hill. And I'm assuming that we're probably not going to be able to fit through there. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's go get up there. Okay, we can winch ourselves. Come on, come on. Your wheels are spinning. You're doing it. You're doing it. That's not the direction I wanted to go. There we go. And we're... We're somehow stuck on something. Let's try this again. Nope. Okay, so let's... We're just gonna... No, it just wants to tip me over. No, 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 no. <laughs> we can't go this way, truck. We are right there too. Like, I could just get out and walk over to it. So maybe, maybe, you know, a scout would have been better for this. Because we cannot tip over. We are SOL if we tip over. Alright, I think we're in the good now. I think we're good. Oh, there we go. Come on. There we go. Alright, so this is the free one that everyone was talking about. In fact, I could literally change it now, except we are almost out of gas. And this thing smokes worse than a, uh... Than an old lady in the 80s in a Bill Naps. Yeah, I just went there. Uh... So yeah, this vehicle... Yeah, I, th I think we're gonna just re end up returning this one. <laughs> Uh, let's stop the engine. I don't know if it's going to help us out at all. So let's change back to the, uh, to the as off and let's, uh, let's go after our truck recovery. Hopefully we can get down this hill with, with very, to very little to no issues. I, I honestly don't know how I just did that. We gotta go this way. Um. Why is it giving me a exclamation point? That was that was weird. All right. Well, we should be fine now. Let's just go ahead and go straight down this hill. We'll go around the, the grove, trees, and we can uh, finally see where we need to go. Oop, there's a mission there. Let's go check out the mission first for the, uh, the task. I'm assuming it's Probably just the start of this one. A little bit of help there, never hurt anyone. There we go. <clears throat> Let's back it in. I can I can only assume that that's exactly what this task is. Yep. Uh, let's go to attach the winch. Can we just yank it out with our? Nope. Oh. oh boy, it's gonna be one of those missions.
Let's see if we can uh, use our height to our advantage. Well, I'm not I'm not going to lie. That's rock may have something to do with it. Come on, I just want the truck. There we go. <laughs> okay, now that that rock's out of the way. Oh, oh, come on. Now, yep, come on. You get rolling. You've got to be kidding me. All right. Change of plans. Oh, it's not going to. Hmm. I wanted to attach the back of the truck. But I don't think it's going to let me. Oi. Oi, Vey. Come on. Get up there. What if I just push it down and flip it over? Yeah, it really is not letting me attach to anything but the front of this truck. All right, well, let's try the other direction. It's going to it's going to take a quick second to uh <laughs> try to yank it out in this direction. No, that's let go. This winching system is not working very well right now. I know, I know. It's probably user error. All right. Well, guess what? That that way is a lot easier. So if you guys go to do this mission, pull it from that direction. All right. So I am honestly thinking. I'm honestly thinking I gotta get a uh I gotta get the rest of these. You know what, what am I doing? Let's leave this truck here for now. Let's go get another watchtower. I, I've used so much gas and so much time. That I probably won't have enough gas to get over to this watchtower. I need to open this up. I need to see what we have on this map and what we can do. We're gonna... Yeah, we're going to head off in this direction. And head towards that watchtower. Yeah, there's only three watchtowers on this map, so... Let's just go ahead and get those taken care of. And I'm hoping we come across the fuel tanker. 
Because, yeah, I need to fuel. <laughs> and I'm seriously just making my own trail at this point. Um, yeah, we're going to have to go down, though. We're gonna, we're gonna run into some cliffs. Oh, look at those nice little eyes that were here for a second. Uh, where is the actual road? Is there a road through here? I feel like there should be. Oh no, we are, we are just completely on our own. In fact, the road I thought we were going to isn't going to the watchtower anyways. But yeah, we're just, we're just gonna do our own thing. And hopefully... You know what? We can get up there. Come on, turn. Turn car. Or truck. Or whatever you are. There you go. Alright, it, was, it wasn't the more, most uh, orthodox way to get up here. Or maybe it was. I don't know. Uh, but it definitely wasn't the smoothest. But it works. It definitely worked, so... I, f I keep forgetting how small this map is. We might be okay to get to the last watchtower. Okay, let's go ahead and launch this. And I don't see anything from that shot. We've got an upgrade, that's nice. Uh... Nothing really. Two upgrades? I wish I had more fuel in there than 8 gallons. There's an upgrade there, there's an upgrade there, there's an upgrade here. Everywhere an upgrade. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm, lo I'm slowly losing my mind, so... Let's, uh... Let's go get the easy upgrade first. I think that means we have to turn around. I want to go this direction. And I have no clue what upgrades I'm heading towards, so unfortunately I can't pick the one that I prefer over a different one, so we're just going to go for it. Like I said, it's a pretty small map, so we should be almost there. And like I said, hopefully, hopefully, we'll just follow this road around. Hopefully, we'll find some fuel. I, I would hate to recover this. I, th I think if we do run out of fuel, we're just going to have to bring a truck all the way from the drowned lands. Uh, which may be a full episode in, on, in of itself, because I don't think there's any shortcuts. <laughs> to get over here, so... I didn't realize how bendy this road was. But somebody was thinking, they put some logs in, then they put some concrete slabs in. Ooh, that hurt. I... Every time I see these concrete slabs, I think of the ones that you pick up on the back of the truck. I would have loved if you had the ability to put down concrete slabs in mud or water places so that you can get better traction. Now I wouldn't want it in every single one, but I would want it in some of them. Alright, let's see what this upgrade is here. Boom! Raise suspension for the Tega. 6-3, or 6-4, 3-6. Okay, perfect. That was right there. I almost forgot to show the location of that one. 
And yeah, we get to uh, drive all the way back around now. That's that's looks like the only thing over here, besides stumps. Uh, this definitely looks like uh, a mission that we are going to have to haul some materials to, so that should be interesting. It's funny because I keep thinking that we're so close to having Russia done, but we're not. <laughs> We're not at all. And I wish I I wish I would have wrote down how how many episodes did it take to complete Michigan or how many episodes did it take to complete Alaska? And I wanna say it was around fifty each. I think it was like fifty-two, maybe a bit more. That doesn't look like anything over there. Um, yeah, so this is, yeah. That, that's all, all she wrote for this side. So we will head back towards the other upgrade. Try to, try to stay out of all that mud. It's uh, it's pretty hard. Wow, it's pretty soft, but it's hard to to stay out of it. So try to do the best that I can. Um, yeah, we're gonna go straight for this upgrade, and then we're gonna hit that upgrade, and then hopefully, hopefully that watchtower. Now I'm starting to wish I stole the eight gallons out of the uh. 420. Come on. There you go. Some pretty deep mud right there. Steep climb there. Good thing those logs are placed where they were. don't see anything. Oh, let's head over here. What? Oh, what? You gotta be kidding me. That giant... <laughs> well, that's the way this episode's going. There's no way eight gallons is going to get us that far. There's no way. That truck doesn't have anything in it. Seven gallons. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no way this is going to make it. Well, we're going to try it. See what happens. We're just going to fly off this cliff. <laughs> I love how I'm, I'm literally launching it off a cliff and we're not taking any damage whatsoever. Uh, yeah, did you guys see how easily that went through the mud? I'm just saying. Maybe the stock tires are the best tires for this thing. I mean, we're a quarter of a mile away. There's no way we're getting there. There is no way we're going to be able to do this. Oh, high gear's not not working well. Hmm. 
Now the cool thing, oh, although I probably don't have the autonomous winch on here. If I did, I could literally run out of gas and still pull this thing towards it and then possibly flip it over. Yeah, we're uh, we're going off this cliff just for fun. Wee! <laughs> that was uh, not what I was expecting. But that may be the first time that we've ever gotten all the wheels off the ground. Yeah, we're we're not gonna make it, guys. We're we're so close though. We're so close. If we had an extra two gallons, we would have made it. And yeah, we're done. And yeah. If I would have paid attention to where I was going. Alright, let's recover this. We're uh we're kinda SOL right now, so let's get let's get some recovery trucks. Um this actually may be Do I want to use the... I kind of want to buy a new truck. I mean, we haven't used this guy in a while. Oops. Okay, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, let's customize it. I don't know... Well, that's the best power to wait. Got $18,000 back for that engine. Um, we still don't have a fine tune. We can sell those. So we'll stay with the advanced. Stock suspension. I don't think any of this stuff has changed. At all. That's all the same there, and differential. So we still don't have all-wheel drive for this thing. Although, no, we do have all-wheel drive. Wait, do we have all-wheel... We'll... When did we get... Was it the diff lock that we didn't have for this thing? That's so weird. Uh, now the only downside is... I do not remember getting... This doesn't have a repair, so we need... We really need a repair. Um, let's go to the truck store. There was one truck that I haven't used yet that I really wanted to. I think it's an off-road. I want to say it was this one. Let's uh, preview it real quick. I want to make sure that we can have spear wheels repair points. We don't have a fuel tank though. We need a lot of repair points, do we not? Okay, if I get this truck, can I still pull? I don't think I can pull. I can if I do this. Okay, so we are going to get this truck. We are going to straight up purchase it. There's $80,000 gone. Just gone. <laughs> Not really. It's, it's still there. Let's customize it. Let's throw in. Yeah, the biggest engine there. Special off-road gearbox. Raise suspension. Tires, we're going to go from a 43 to a 50. And I don't know which ones I want. Those ones might be good. Oh, those are 43. Wait. 
So when they're 43s, they're pretty good on the road. But MS2s... MSH2s... Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Excellent, excellent four. I think I, there's an excellent, excellent average. Yeah, we're going to go with these guys. 50-inch mutters. Mm-mm. Oh, I didn't even realize that the all-wheel drive and the diff lock are always on in this truck. So that might help out a lot. Winch. Um, yeah, we're going to go with this one. Uh, spare wheel. I suppose we could throw that on. Snorkel. Yes, please. Uh, that one's higher. Yeah, why not? We'll go with that one. Frame add-on. Yes, please. We're going to go with the service fan body trailer, whatever they, it's called. We have 800 repair points. We have six tires. We're going to be dragging behind us a fuel tanker. And... Yeah, I think that's going to... I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, upgrades. Uh, yes, please. Front bumper. I'm edging towards that one. And triple horns or double horns? Uh, triple horns are too shiny. Let's go with the dubs. The rims. Yeah, I guess we can... We can keep those rims. Colors. Now that's the million dollar. What? No way. It actually changes the van body now. That's that's pretty awesome. I've been wanting this on regular trucks for how long? This must be in a an add-on. Uh, I kind of wanted a bright red. Yeah, let's go bright red. It's a little different, but... Alright, let's leave the garage. We've got 72 gallons, so we don't have the best... Uh, tanker size. Is there an option for exhaust? Let's double check real quick. I don't think there was. No, just the snorkel. Okay, well, it is what it is. We're going to be blowing some smoke. Uh, fuel tanker. That is everything we need. Now the real question is... Got the quarry. We've got all these other trucks that we haven't used lately. <laughs> oh man, and we've got the ruined warehouse, which it kind of makes sense to do the warehouses first, right? Like that's what you need, that's what you want. Well, anyways, let's get the show on the road. We've got a long ways to go. We're already halfway through this episode. I haven't really gotten much done. But I can say it has definitely been a challenge. Are these 50 inch tires? They look so small. Especially compared to the trailer. Oh well, you know what, we're going to go with it. I'm pretty sure I put the 50s on. And the truck is pretty quick, so... This is a good thing. Actually, are we going to pass? We could pick up this truck.
Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll bring this truck with us over to the map just in case we need something else. And it's been a while since we've done a train, so let's at least get this into... Oh, you know what? Oh, no. Well, I was thinking we need gas, but we don't. <laughs> I am bringing so much gas with us that we should have no issues. All right, and I believe this is where our paths will cross, yes. It, uh, it's kind of nice using a, a new truck. It looks like it's a short, kind of a short frame on it. But I'm okay with that, with the fact that it can still haul <laughs> Holy crap. That, uh, that was a little unexpected. <laughs> but yeah, with the short frame, it, it at least allows us to haul a trailer with us. That was weird. I, I got a little worried there. It sounded like we blew a tire. And we need... We need all six tires for the step to fix that, so. And I do, I want to I want to get that fixed because I'm worried that I'm going to pull it farther away from where we need to take it. Because I have a feeling we have to take it somewhere. Whoa, uh-oh. 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 <laughs> um, good, good. Good point. Uh, let's change trucks. Uh, no, you're closer. You're not too far away. Six gallons. Oh, I forgot to shut it off. Oh, if I screwed this up. Come on, get me over there so I can... I can refuel you. I'm so close, like I'm literally right there. All I gotta do is get there and get fueled up. We've got about one minute of driving that we can do. We're not gonna make it again. This has not been a good episode. Nope, we're stuttering already. Alright, so we're out of fuel again. Uh, what other truck is on the map? That one's way over there. This one's almost pointless. Let's, uh, recover that one. And, uh... I guess we'll leave the garage with this one. <laughs> this Azov is, uh... Yeah, this Azov 5319. It's not as fast. But it does make a pretty good... service trailer. So maybe we'll be taking this one instead of the, uh, the MK. We use the MK a lot. I know we haven't used it that much lately, but we have used it a lot, so... Not to mention, it's really not made for recoveries. Or at least it's not decked out for recoveries, it just has the trailer hitch for it. Hmm.
Yeah, I think I think we'll take this truck instead. It definitely isn't as fast, but it's pretty good though. I mean, we are moving, so. And it definitely doesn't have the uh, tippiness of the other truck. Especially if I can keep it on the ditch. And floating rock. We'll just drive right through it and take damage from it. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I should have known better. I was looking at that truck when we first pulled out thinking that it looks a little top heavy. And sure enough. It is it is top heavy. Let's go ahead and get this truck into position. I'm going to pick it up from here. I have no words. I have absolutely no words right now. I thought that would easily, easily rotate over. All right, well, you're out of gas. You're on it. Oh no, you're out of gas. You're on its side. You're on its side. I guess we go back to the garage. Hey, guess what? We get to use this truck again. And better off? Better yet? Oh, we can't paint it. Oh, that's right. Kind of drives me nuts. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave the rims. What tires were stock? Were these not the stock tires? Poor, excellent, excellent. And those are poor, excellent, excellent. Why not? Let's let's give it a shot. We've got all-wheel drive in this thing. I think this is the first time we're using it. I honestly don't remember. I'm, I'm going to have to go back and look at my videos to see if... Was it all-wheel drive or was it the diff lock that this didn't have? I want to say it was the all-wheel drive that's new. I want to say it always had a diff lock and you can only engage it, obviously, when you're in low gear, so... And yeah, I'm not going to lie, guys, by the time we get any of these vehicles to the point where we can get them across the map, we are uh, we're going to run out of time. This this episode has been a complete. Uh, I'm trying to think of the word muck up. It, it, it's been a complete utter mess. Um, I want to say something else, but I may be demonetized. <laughs> me being demonetized. I have to be monetized first for that to happen. Anyways, um, yeah, this has been a complete, uh, almost a waste of an episode, to tell you the truth, because I don't think we've done really anything. Maybe found one upgrade? Maybe two? I'm, uh, yeah, I really want to see how powerful this truck is now. I think all-wheel drive is what we were missing. I 
I may have I may have found it in Russia or in uh, Alaska and then put it on and then never really use this truck for much. I honestly don't remember. Let me know in the comments if you guys remember what it was. Was it the all wheel drive that we had to find or was it this one? I think it was the all wheel drive because I was thinking to myself how much better it would be if it had all wheel drive. Come on. Oh, that was almost too close. All right, let's let's see what this thing can do. We're going to put the diff lock on. And we're just going to give it some gas. Okay, that fixed one truck. Can I go through? Oops, apparently I missed my gear. Can I attach the winch? I should be able to. Oh, I'm not in. Okay. Let's get the as off out of the way. Oh. Don't drive it through the bus stop. People need that. How else are they supposed to get to work? All right, well, that's probably way too far. Uh, nope, and that's uh, the wrong truck completely. As the sun sets again, we are just getting everything fixed. I'm not going to lie, that's not a very high point flip everything over but it worked all right well so far so good this truck's not too bad uh, let's change trucks we're gonna take this as the lead truck covered in mud very top heavy um, slight thing there you know it's not much it's not much heavier I mean the the accessory, the uh, van body is obviously higher up. Ooh, that sucks. Okay, well, I guess that means that the Azov will be the lead truck. For some reason, the fuel tanker, you cannot attach the winch to the back of it. This truck you can, so... We're off to the races. And this as off, we're not far from the base, so I think I'm just gonna leave that as off there and Come get it when we clean up later. We're going to get a little shove from the truck behind. I really wanted to, to showcase the, uh, the new truck, but yeah, unfortunately, we gotta we gotta do it this way. So, joystick.
I wish there was a way that I could have brought the uh, cat with us. It's, it's definitely been a while and I, I kind of miss that truck. It's, it's massive. I love it. I love that big truck. I feel like I would love it even more now that it has all wheel drive. Alright, we're going to bypass the fuel station because we don't need it. What we do need is some speed though. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We need speed and power. couple trees in the road, but we should be able to easily cruise over them. We should be coming up to the gates to get into the quarry. You know, I could have sworn. Yeah, we're in drowned lands. We have to go to the quarry and then Zimagross. Yeah, so... It's, it's a long track to get out there, so that's why I'm bringing so many vehicles with me. Or two. <laughs> Plus a fuel tanker. Oh, oh. Break, break. Alright, now we're in the quarry. We still have to go to the complete opposite side of the map and we are we are pretty far gone um i'm not gonna lie <laughs> we are all the way over here i guess it's not too far it could be worse definitely could be worse let's go ahead and attach Come on. I feel like they should have made a attach winch to tree option and attach tr winch to truck option. Instead of just attach. That would have, uh, that actually would have helped out a lot. Would have sped things up with good quality of life change. Uh, yeah, I suppose I should turn on that truck behind us. That will, uh, make this drive go a little bit easier. Not to mention. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking that I could have left the fuel tanker. But we were so close to it. Might as well just bring it with us. I would have definitely had to go way off the path to get one. Alright, so so far the, the new truck's pretty good. It uh, stays right behind your towing vehicle. And it turns out it's a little top heavy. But that could just be the, uh, that could just be the, uh, add-on. I know those van bodies do not, uh, do not help out with weight distribution.
I never realized how many spotlights are on this uh, service trailer. It's, it's kind of nice. Lots of working light. It's very important when you're servicing something at night. Really? I feel like we got robbed there for here. Okay, we're almost there. There we go. <laughs> One of these times I'm going to get the buttons right. All right. And with that, uh, we are going to call it an episode. <laughs> we didn't get anywhere near where I wanted to. It was complete um, mess up on my part it was yeah it was pretty sad um so hopefully the next episode will go a little bit smoother i guess i'm still a little thrown off by the uh by the fact that i had three missions or tasks glitch out on me and one of them means that i will never be able to drive that truck so unless you guys can help me figure out how to fix it that would be great if i have to go into the files and rewrite them to somehow unlock that mission to tell the game that i did it <laughs> that would be amazing uh but yeah if you guys could let me know about that and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode even though it was a complete uh cock up we will uh see you in the next one bye for now